Hi, so you want to run a three-on-three -three basketball league and your number one challenge is securing a facility. Um, this has been the number one challenge that I've been receiving emails and messages about and I've been answering people individually um, through email and such, but it was becoming an everyday thing I was hearing about that I thought it'd be better use of my time to maybe put together a more detailed video and help more people with this challenge. So that's what I'm gonna to do today on this post. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how we get our facilities for our 30 plus leagues. And um, if you don't know who I am, let me just do a quick background here. My name is Christy Hilly, and my husband Mike and I, we run three on three basketball leagues in Minnesota. In fact, we just concluded our 300th three on three basketball league. And um, you, some people think that you have to have your own facility to run your three on three basketball leagues, and that's 100% false. We do not own our own facility. Um, so, I just, I just want to jump into some things here. I wrote some stuff down. So I'm a teacher and we were starting to get a lot of people interested in learning about how we run our three on three basketball leagues and how we built our business. And I thought I'm a teacher. I can totally teach other people how to run three on three basketball leagues and build a business. So what I'm going to do right now is just really get into this topic about securing a facility. And to be honest, it really actually surprised me that this was the number one challenge I was hearing about because in all of our years of running three on three basketball leagues, we've never really had a problem getting facilities. So I was kind of surprised by this. Um, so the first thing I would do if I was you is I would make a list of all of the possible facilities where you could run a three on three league that are in your community. And probably, you know, think about where do kids play five on five basketball right now. And probably most of that's gonna be at schools. Um, so high schools and middle schools. Another place where people might be playing basketball is like YMCA's or community centers, fitness centers. And then a third thing to think about is those privately owned facilities where maybe your club teams are running out of. So make a list of those things. And unless you're in a small town, um, if you're in a metro area or a suburb, uh, we're here in Minneapolis, in a suburb of Minneapolis, I could easily come up with a list of 10 facilities or more that are near us that would work for this. So just make that list, brainstorm, and then you're gonna wanna prioritize that list. So start thinking about like what would be important in that facility. Uh, there's a lot of things to think about. Um, probably the number one thing that you want to think about is are there enough courts you, you need like um, probably six half court baskets or more to run a decent sized league and all of those courts wouldn't have to be in the same gym maybe you've got a school that has uh, two full courts in one area and then maybe down the hall they have more courts or across the street at a middle school that totally works too um, so you're in business if you can find a place that has I would say six half court baskets or more. Um, so make a list, prioritize them. And then I would probably contact the first one on the list and just find out um, what are the steps to securing that facility. There might be a form you have to fill out, maybe a small fee. I think sometimes we have to pay like a $15 application fee here or sometimes it doesn't cost anything. But the key is you probably have to do this well in advance. If you're trying to secure a facility two months from now, you're, yep, you're gonna run into trouble. That, that's already booked. So, uh, and you wouldn't wanna run a league two months from now anyway. You're gonna want to be able to promote your league for at least three months. Uh, when we run a new league here, we would probably secure that facility six to nine months in advance. The leagues that were our recurring leagues for us year after year, we booked that facility. Once that league concludes, we booked the facility for the next year, like a year in advance. So um, that could be a sum of the problems if you're trying to secure the facility in too short of a time. Um, so the, the big obstacles that people are telling me about is that one, some facilities don't rent to outsiders. So they only rent to, like if it's a school, they're not gonna let anybody use their facility that's not associated with the school program. Another uh, obstacle is the cost of the facility. And I know that, yep, some of these facilities can be very expensive, but I've got a little trick for that too to, help, to get a better price on the facility. And a third obstacle is you need liability insurance oftentimes, and that kind of scares people, but it doesn't need to, and I'll talk about that here in just a second also. So 
here's the solution. Here, here's the key. Um, you're going to want to try to partner with a basketball organization that's maybe associated with that facility. So a really good group to work with would be like a varsity basketball program. Um, or maybe there's a club team or like around in Minnesota, we have community based traveling programs. Uh, a program like that that has access to the facility and uses that facility themselves, they can rent that facility for you. So you could partner with them and they'll rent the facility and they'll get a better price on it than outsiders do. So that's how you can get your cost of your facility down is have them rent the facility for you. And another thing is those organizations probably already have liability insurance in place and that can use um, you can use that on the facility agreement so you're not going to have to get yourself liability insurance and what you're going to want to do then with that organization is come up with some sort of financial agreement where you compensate them it'll be a fundraiser for that program so they're going to get the facility for you they're, they also have basketball contacts and they can help promote your league for you that's super powerful and the way we compensate our organizations that we work with by the way like of our 33 leagues that we run all but four of them, we have this kind of agreement where we call them a co-promoter, where we're working, working with a co-promoter and we'll spell out like the different tasks that we need the co-promoter to do, which usually include get the facility and promote the league. And occasionally they help supply some of the staff, maybe their varsity program comes in and refs the games and they can earn some money that way. It goes back into their program. So it's a fundraiser for them. It's a win-win. Um, but if liability insurance is something that you've got to get yourself, um, that scares people sometimes. And I know when I first heard about it, it kind of, you know, I, I didn't know anything about it. So I worried about it a little bit, but turns out you really don't need to. So I was consulting Van in um, Arizona on his three on three league, and he was able to find liability insurance at a place online called esportsinsurance.com. It was really easy to do. He did a, a application online and got a really reasonable rate on his liability insurance. It's probably gonna run you about $5 per participant. Um, and if it, you, know, you wanna um, use an insurance agent that, that I use, he might be licensed for some different states. I know he is licensed for different states. So just contact me and I can see if he can help you out. And that way you would know that you'd have um, insurance that's perfectly good for three on three leagues and at a really good rate. So I can help you with that. Um, but anyway, so it's about probably $5 per participant, which really for an investment in your business, I don't think is a very big deal. Um, and as long as your league runs, you're going to make the bunny on the, the, the registration to cover that. So I think it's pretty low risk. You can set it up so that if your league doesn't happen, uh, you can get most of your premium back. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think liability insurance should be a big challenge. Don't be afraid of it. Um, reach out to me if that's something you have questions on and I can help you more about it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should tell you about finding a facility. The big, the big key is partner with a local group that can help you. You'll get into the facility at a cheaper rate. They're going to promote the league for you. Um, they could maybe help with the liability insurance. So that's what we do. And it's a huge success for us. We like to give back to the programs. Um, a group that we just finished with, we wrote them a check for $15,000. They also ref the league for us. Um, so it's a huge fundraiser for us. You don't have to maybe be that generous, but that's kind of our platform is that we like to, um, to give back to our local basketball organizations. Um, if you've been following this video all the way to this point, you're probably pretty interested in learning more about 3 on 3. And if you haven't joined my mailing list yet, you can learn a lot more um, from me and some emails I'll send you. If you go to the uh, 3 on 3 Hoops Hub Facebook page, the top post, I pinned a post there where you can um, download my free guide, the 10 reasons why 3 on 3 basketball is the next big basketball opportunity. And with that, you'll get an uh, estimated profit calculator so you can kind of see how much money you could earn running three on three basketball leagues and you'll get on my mailing list and I'll send you lots of tips and stories and other ideas to help you get going with your three on three league. If I missed something on this topic about securing a facility, 
put something, put your questions in the comments and I'm gonna respond to you because I wanna help you and maybe I'm just missing something that you guys are stumbling with. So let me know what that is and I would love to be able to help you some more. So thanks for being here and good luck with your three on three league.